Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Black Magic here and thank you guys very much for checking out today's loadout video. So today is the end of class week number one, where I uploaded a video on a specific class from Battlefield 4. Now class week one started on Monday with the FAMAS loadout and continued with yesterday's late entry of the MTAR, and there are links to both of those right here so you guys can go check those out, leave them a thumbs up, and let me know what you think about those. Now in week two I'm going to be doing a different video every other day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, from some of my favorite classes from from Black Ops 2. Also, as just a quick reminder, week two is gonna start Monday, February 10th, and it's gonna last until Friday the 14th. So with that said, let's get into today's loadout. So today's final loadout for Battlefield 4 I'm gonna be discussing is the CSLR4, which is one of the first sniper rifles I've ever used for more than five seconds in any game. Now, normally I like to run around with an assault rifle or an SMG, hell, sometimes even an LMG will work out for me. But as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, in order to unlock the MTAR, one of the things you have to get accomplished is you have to get a kill with a sniper rifle. Now, I will be the first to tell you that I am not all that great with a sniper rifle, and you will probably rarely see me uploading videos of me using one, because those matches do tend to get a bit boring. Anyway, the first time I decided to use this sniper rifle, I had a great time with it, and I actually found myself sniping quite a bit more since then, so I decided to permanently keep the CSLR4 as my main sniper rifle of choice. So the first attachment I decided to go with was the CL6X, which is a high magnification scope for taking out enemies from a moderate distance. Combine that scope with a 14 times variable zoom and you've got a scope capable of spotting an enemy from a good distance away. Now currently I'm using the CSLR4 without a barrel attachment, mostly because I haven't unlocked one yet, but also because it seems like it either weakens the gun's performance or keeps it the same. So I probably won't even bother with one if I unlock one in the future anyways. Then finally we have the straight pull and I was really happy when I unlocked this because having to zoom out in between shots was the only thing that bugged me about sniping in this game. You normally need to hit an enemy in the chest at least twice with this gun depending on your distance so rapid shots while looking down your scope is a must. So for the rest of my loadout my sidearm is the QSZ-92 which is pretty much a universal pistol that I use at the moment. The gadgets I use are the MAV to help me spot enemies and vehicles for the rest of my team and a ground sensor to place on the ground once I find a good place to snipe from. Now trust me, these gadgets work really well together considering that you've got your own personal bubble protected while spotting people that are on the opposite side of the map. Finally, the field upgrade that I use is... Well, you guessed it, Sniper. Now with the Sniper field upgrade, you can actually hold your breath and steady your gun longer, decrease the amount of incoming suppression, reduce the time you're spotted by two seconds, and then increase the time your targets are spotted by 45%. Like I said, I don't snipe very often, but when I do, I normally switch over to my sidearm until I find a comfortable area to snipe from. Having your sidearm is not always gonna save you in a mid-range gunfight, but it will give you a fighting chance. So I tend to stay away from open areas as much as I can and just try to stick to hallways and inside of buildings. When you snipe, you need to know the map you're playing so that you can form a plan of attack in your head and then set out to do it. If you already know where good sniping points are on the map, stick to those, but be aware of obvious places like easily accessible rooftops because you're not the only one wanting the high ground. Anyways, guys, it's gonna do it for today's loadout video and the end of Battlefield 4 loadout week. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And let me know what you guys think about this loadout in the comment section down below. If you haven't already done so, take a second click that subscribe button. Why haven't you done so already? That way you're kept up to date on all my latest videos. Once again, thank you guys very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.